Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and we've got Ellis from Free. Hey, it's James from Free Electrical, and we've got Ellis from Free Electrical. And on today's video, we're doing some electrical testing. So it's called the EICR test. It helps you buy a house, you know what's going on with electric, see if you need a rewire or not. All right then, let's get into this. to start the day, thank you. Hello. <laughs> so we've got, what's this one? Another one down there. Another one running outside. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, she's definitely dogging my head. <laughs> right then, if you can hear me. So we've got two fuse bars to test it. We've got a DV1. And it's just got light cooker sockets downstairs, sockets, kitchen sockets, downstairs lights, upstairs lights. And this one, it's just loads of radios. If you look, they're all B16, so socket, 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 socket. Yeah! Socket, socket, and then lights. So yeah, they'll just do random sockets around the house, I'm guessing. So it's a bit strange doing it as a like different radials on 16 amps, but. Oh well, that's what it is, right then. So what we'll do is get these um, input into the testing software. I've got another dog. Sure. <laughs> All right, laptops are out then. So and this is setting that up. So we'll just do a few checks for here then. So you do a visual check around the property. You're checking for like cracks, which is crack sockets. When we whip the fuse board off, as far as the visual checks, we'll be checking the cable size to the breaker size to make sure that the cables are gonna, the breaker's gonna chip out before the cables set on fire, stuff like that. Um, what else? Bonding, so if you look at it, it's plastic pipe coming in for your water. So therefore, it's got some electrical separation, so you don't need, you don't need bonding to it. So it's stuff like that, so we'll have to check the gas as well, wherever that is. Um, yeah, should be an interesting one. I think I can see the gas line coming. Is that it? Is that gas? Not a clue, it disappears down there somewhere. Yeah, so that's the gas line coming in. So the other side of that is the gas meter in the street. So that's the gas line coming in there. So that's fine then, that's all bonded up. So I'll have to check that obviously. Um, it hasn't got its label on, so that'll have to go down. Like, it needs like a, um, a, a basically it's like a little tag that sits on saying electrical connection. So that does need to be on. So that would be like, well, we need to put it on that it needs, it needs doing. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty. That's all we can do so far until Ellis gets the internet up. Just caught this one eating turds off the lawn. Right, Ellis, do you want to whip them covers off then? And we'll uh, we'll start inputting them into it. Right then, so the first thing is earthing arrangement. So is it a TNS, a TT, TNCS or other? Tell me. TNS. TNS. Correct. Right, so <coughs> TNS, so it's terra neutral, so earth neutral, um, separate, so that's a TNS. So obviously, if it was TNCS, you'd see one cable come in, this neutral, and then you'd see it combine, and then you'd see it separate here. So that'd be a TNCS, but this is a TNS then, so it comes off the earth braiding, and that's about it. So well done. So we'll then put that. Quick fire round. Are you ready for the for the, for the quick fire round? So, number of phases. Go. Single phase. One phase. Oh, number of wires. Live wires. Live, live wires, yeah. Live wires. What, what? Oh, that's line. What's a neutral? Is it classed as a line? Oh, wire? yeah. Two. Two. There we go. Well done. Yeah, so, if it was three phase, you'd have L1, L2, L3, and neutral, yeah. So, you'd have four and three phase, yeah. Uh, what else we got? Nominal voltage then. 230, well done. Uh, frequency for England? 50 hertz. 50 hertz. Con confirmation of supply polarity. Uh, when we do the ZE, that will confirm that. So we're testing to the neutral, and it's not neutral, but we'll get a reading, so there we go. We'll just check it just in case. Uh, PFC and ZE, so that's what we'll come on to next. And then ZE then, so what we want is the worst possible scenario for the Earth, which is no parallel paths. So a parallel path would be an Earth from here connected onto an extraneous part, i.e. big metal 
pipe coming in for the water, big metal pipe coming in for the for the gas for this most likely. If you've got an earth attached to it, that can that can add, well, that can reduce the earth reading, which will make it look better than it actually is. So what we're gonna do is disconnect any parallel path. So this is the earth coming in, goes into this block, then goes into the earth bar. The only bonding is this cable here. So we're gonna disconnect any parallel paths, i.e. this bonding. So we're gonna disconnect that. Um, yeah, that's about it really. If, this, if, if that's the only parallel path, and then what we're gonna do is do a ZE. So let's do that then. So we're gonna turn your tester on. We're gonna bang it on high current. We're gonna go earth, and we're gonna go, that's it, just so one of them lines. So tails come out to this block, tails come out to that block, so you can test on either. 0.25, there we go. So that's what we're gonna have for the ZE. Now, can you bang that back in? And then what we'll do is do a PFC then. So 0.25 for that, so we should see um, when we test this again, the ZE go down because you've added parallel paths. You've added paths that are into the ground. So, but if it, if it was run free air, then you probably won't see a difference. But yeah, if it's a copper pipe into the ground, you're going to see a difference. Right then, let's go back to that testing then. Nice and quick. Let's keep this video nice and short, snappy. So you need your two lead test again. So get rid of that neutral. Yeah, right, I'll get your earth on. You get your line on. Let's test it. So what we've done is just, just got the uh, best possible earth for this. So this is for the PFC. So this is going to give you your, your highest current to not point two five again. So it didn't make a difference, but um, nine. So it'll be not point nine seven ka for uh, the PFC. Is that right? Not point yeah. nine seven. Nice one. And that's that section done. <laughs> Right, next, we've got, we've got, what we're gonna do is get the, the cable conductor sizes. So then, we've got earth in conductor then, so it's copper, what's this earth? Uh, 16. So we've got 16, what's this? Tails, 25, 25 and then bondings. 10 mil. 10 mil, that's it. Look at that, he's got an eye for it. Right then, testing. So, what we've got is continuity verified and connection verified. So connection would be this. So tug test, yeah, nice and tight. Not going anywhere, clamps nice and tight for your bonding. However, it needs a label on that, doesn't it? The electrical <laughs> safety connection thing. <clears throat> and the verification is, is it chopped? Because it could be chopped, like from here to here, it disappears to the ceiling. It could be chopped and then it's not doing anything. It looks like it's there, but it's not. So you'd essentially um, take that out. <clears throat> so you disconnect your bonding. You'd get a clamp on this. It's better not be in this resistance. It's gonna be all right, Zach. There we go. And we've got some continuity here. So that's how you verify a connection properly. Is if it were other end out, you have to get your wand to lead out, um, attach it on, you just clamp it on there, and then go to the other end and just poke it on. And if you get in continuity, uh, like 0 0.05 or something, round about them results, or 0.15, something like that, it means that the cable's not chopped. Right then, so next bit, we're gonna talk about the main switch, which is this little device here. So we've got current, so we've got fuse device rating our setting, and then we've got current rating. So is this gonna trip? Is it going to get to a certain thing and just trip? Has it got a fuse rate in this? Or is that is, is that what that 100 amp means? 100 amp, that's the, that's the rating then. It's a, right, so that's the rating. That's so, when it'll melt. Yeah, yeah, so this is just an isolator. Yeah. So before it was the uh, 60947-3, which is an isolator. It doesn't actually trip, it just isolates, yeah. So it's got no device rating or setting. So on here, if we just press S, it'll be switch, yeah. And that's all it is, it's just a switch. And current rating is 100 amp then, yeah. So it can take up to 100 amp without melting. Anything over 100 amp, it'll melt, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. What about this fuse bar then? You're gonna have a look up here. Do a little, in, uh, a little inspection then. This side, what can you see? I'll get in there. Yeah, in there. You see grommeted? Grommeted, grommeted. And then what's that? Something. Oh, not grommeted. So he's found it. Well done, lad. So that'll have to go down. So fuse bar DB1. Um, no grommets in top of fuse board. Needs grommeting. Here we go, we've got Rain Man working at it. Typing away, so he's writing out the details then for these circuits. So we never show this bit because it's a bit boring, but at least we've got a testing video where uh, we've actually done this. So what we'll do, we'll do a radial circuit. We'll show you how we do a radial. We'll show you how to do a radial. And then what we'll do is do a ring test so you can see how we do that as well. It do is goodly, didn't it? You've been eating big turds off the lawn, haven't you? That's all you. You're not looking me. You're not looking me. Hey. Okay. <laughs>
All right, Ellis is doing the RCD test then. So what he's doing, he's got his earth on there and he's got his line on the app when the RCD is testing and the neutral, the neutral on the, on the RCD is testing and he's got it on the RCD time. So let's look through them results then. So on five times he's got 15.3 um, you get the highest so anything less than 40 passes and then obviously half times it didn't and then 24.6 is for one times and obviously he's got it on the AC mode and this is an AC RCD so that RCD actually has passed so that's it with the RCD test right then so what we're going to do is get Ellis doing a Z of an hour and a two and testing this this radial circuit right so we've pulled the the circuit out so what I'll do is just, just bang him on earth like this. Oh, I'll spang him on it. Earth is earth, right? And we'll do insulation resistance. So, bag him on insulation resistance. There we go. And then, so we're just going to test neutral. What have we got? 69 million ohms. Test line to earth. What have we got? There we go. 75 million ohms. So, there we go. Insulation resistance. So, anything over 2 meg. Um, what drip and RCD and we'll pass. But if it's two meg we've presented to the customer, the insulation is breaking down loads. But at 75 meg, there's still quite a lot of life left in that cable, isn't there? There we go. Right, uh, continuity test then. So we'll, we'll get the line out, we'll, we'll get the earth out, and we'll cross them together using this little jump lead. So we'll just do line to earth, and then go to end the line. You ready? Yep. Right, to the oven. So, on this one, we haven't got long, because uh, they've got to go out uh, for about quarter to one. And there's two, essentially two fuse bars to test and a garage fuse bar. So oven's here, it's wired in to this red master and then there's a little socket there you can test and get an earth read in. So we'll get an earth read in there and then just make sure this body works here and then that'll be this done. So press, hold it. There we go, 0.17. So that's what we're at right now for the hour and a two. Right then, onto the socket circuit. This is what happens when you put three in one, look at this. It's not even in there, look. <laughs> Rubbish. We'll do a ring test, so press it. I've just done it, not put one four then. So what we're doing is doing the end to end test. Yeah, go get that. Um, and what we're actually doing is making sure that it's, it wires from the fuse board round, round the sockets and back. <laughs> and he's having trouble with his leads. Oh, it's there. Yeah, then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm confused. Right, it's so the sockets wired from here all the way around and back. So we should get a, a, a continuity, as in this cable is connected to that cable reading. Right, so get that on testers, so we had 0.14, so they should be the same, because it's the same size conductor, and then it should go all the way back. So it's now 0.14 for both. And the earth is a 1.5 cross-sectional area instead of 2.5, so this should be higher um, by that ratio. So give that a test, a 0.25. So there you go, so it is a higher reading. So that's what we do, so we do end-to-end -end test. Then what we're going to do is take the incoming line connected to the outgoing earth and then the incoming earth and connected to the outgoing line. And then we basically go around with the tester and that's called a crossover test and we should be getting the same reading within 0.5, you know what I mean, something like that, 0.05. Um, that's about it. No, 0.5. You get discretions with like your socket terminals as you push it in, the pincers that pins onto the plug might, might be worn a bit, so you do get um, sometimes badder, badder readings, worse readings. I can't speak to it. Keep losing my fingers. <laughs> right, let's do a crossover test then. Look at these little jump leads, they're brilliant. So, let's give that a wiggle. That's the line of one side connected to the earth of the other. And then we'll go same again for the other side. So, that one and that one. And then we're just going to go around now and test that. Now there's this random cable in there. That showed that one wobbly wobbly. So what we're going to do is uh, disconnect that. So the one that it's not doing, we'll bang that on the 16 amp on its own thing. So we can't have that. Putting three in one, it's not even secure. It's flapping about. There we go. So it's, it's level kitchen sockets, but it's not. It's, uh, it seems to be doing these basement sockets. So now put one two. Keep going around there, nice and quick. And then it's, it did that one. It didn't do that one. It did this one behind the telly. And that's about it. Oh, and the, the those little fighters there, what's that? I'll put one two again, right? So we'll just write that down then. I'll put one two for his hour now two. And that is how you do a ring test. Not too good to for his now, look. <laughs> yeah, what we're doing is just make sure that the, the lights are earth then. So we'll show you a few faults that come up then. So um, the light in the end room wasn't even earth, so we've earthed that. 
And then this one here, it's just, it's just kind of just, there's no earth there, it's just live and neutral. So we'll have to drill through a pillar to even earth that, or we'll have to go for a plastic fitting or a class two fern, so. Not right good, is it? So I get this test done. So essentially if you were to touch that, if there's a fault, you just die. It'd be like a human fly zapper. Another one. So we've got a non-IP fitting in the bathroom. So that'll have to go down as observation. So you need to be IP rated. Cause I think that'll land directly in this zone. So not good. And yeah, it'll just go a bit rusty over time. Got another dodgy then. So this light here is not even earthed. So there's some junction box here. That's probably come off and they haven't, just, they haven't taken the earth. That's not good. And look, it's Billy Bass. Hello. Right, time for a bit of munch. He's starving. Got a right little bush up that way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at that little cake, chocolate orange. What do you get, Liz? Uh, a honeycomb That's thing, isn't it? No, I'll take that. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, oh, that's brilliant. Mm. Dessert first. Double beef burger. Double beef burger. Woohoo! Look at that. I've got for a steak Canadian. That's what this is like. It feels quite light. <laughs> look at this. Look at it! I made a good decision. That is awful. What even is it? Oh, it's been trash this. Look at him! And then we're like, oh yeah, it's £2.50 tonight. It's a £2.50. It's been three pound eight. Meat flap. That steak Canadian were trash. Oh huh. yeah. Of course it was. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, that's us done for today then. So you saw how we did a ring test, how we did a radial test. Some dodges on there, so it's earth, like lights that earth. Like literally like you can look at the top of the <laughs> Right, that's us done for today then. So you saw how we do a radial so that's us done for today then. So you saw how we did a radial circuit. We saw how we did a ring circuit with the sockets then. So like an end-to-end -end thing, crossover, stuff like that. We should we showed you how to do the insulation resistance test show you how broken down the cable's insulation is so when we tested the other circuits we get like results like four mega ohm five mega ohm so the other circuits are probably going to need to rewire like shortly i mean the next five years or so so if they're going to be decorating it those are circuits they want to rewire the other ones they'll get into like readings around about 150 mega ohms that's that's quite high it's all right it's degraded a little bit um so perfect readings like greater than 500 mega ohms so 500 million ohms um, but yeah, 150 is not too bad, so it probably last, would last quite a long time. Um, but yeah, we did some few dodges as well, lights with no earths, just like grommet strip, not there in the fuse board, so, but yeah, we'll have to uh, write a little report then. What I do is have like a simpler term, so I'll, 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 I'll make it really plain English. This is the issue, Mr. Customer. This is what you need to do to fix it, and then we basically put a price next to that so they can see how much it's going to cost them. So if you're buying a house, you, you, you know exactly how much it's going to cost to put right. Or as far as a rewire, you said these circuits are bad, it's going to cost you X amount per point. This is the price you'll be looking at. So if you are going to be rewiring it, you need to be trying to get that off your bill, which obviously pays for the price of the test. So there we go then. So if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. As always, ah, this is Fable. As always, I'm gonna from me. I know this, and I'll see you on the next one. Come on.